Harry and Meghan celebrated their sixth wedding anniversary on May 19. They're often hailed as a very compatible couple with a trusting relationship. But what does very compatible really mean? It seems Harry plays the obedient partner to Meghan, who takes center stage in their relationship. A trusting relationship, however, is harder to deliver. Do they truly trust each other? Perhaps, if both see themselves as a team against the world, Meghan may have manipulated Harry into thinking they can leave as a family and face challenges together. But if Harry weren't richer a prince, it's doubtful that Meghan would have stayed. Meghan Markle was reportedly eager to manipulate and take control of her life. Royal expert Andrew Pierce discussed this with Sarah Vine on the latest episode of The Mill's YouTube show. During that chat, he said she needs to be a leading actor in her life, but, I mean, that's okay. Just be honest about it. Don't put everyone through this whole thing. Don't gaslight an entire nation. He also warned, when talking about the Duchess of Sussex, he even doubled down later on and added, don't gaslight the whole of Britain into thinking that we've behaved appallingly towards her because that wasn't the case. People liked her. It's just that she didn't like it. She didn't want the assignment, so that was very much Meghan showcasing herself and he was just sort of coming along for the ride, he also added before signing off. Meanwhile, a documentary about Prince George aired on the eve of the Sussex's wedding anniversary. Despite George not turning 11 until July, the timing of the airing on Channel 5 in the UK seems strategic as it coincided with the day before Harry and Meghan's anniversary, raising suspicions. This move mirrors the Sussex's tactics. On their anniversary, instead of basking in articles about their wedding and Meghan's role as a breathtaking bride, the spotlight was on Prince George, the future king who bumped Harry down the line of succession the day he was born and dominated the royal news. George's uncle Harry, on the other hand, faced ridicule and criticism for his naivety while celebrating his sixth anniversary with Meghan Markle. Critics claim that Harry has failed as a man by disappointing the Queen and Britain. Speaking about Harry, expert Ingrid Seward said, We loved them for a while, and then we didn't much more, to many complaints. But they were in love and that mattered until they left and then they didn't matter anymore. They'd let the Queen down, they'd let the Prince of Wales down, they'd let William, then the Duke of Cornwall, down. They let us down. Harry was stoic, he loved his Californian lifestyle, he loved his wife and children, she added, but he was bitter against everything he'd left behind, including his brother and his father and his sister-in-law Kate. If success can be judged by money, Harry's life is a success but he as a man isn't a success, the expert continued. She then branded Harry a great husband but an incompetent son. Miss Seward noted, as a husband and father, he's done brilliantly. When he and Meghan celebrate their six-year anniversary on Sunday, they'll pat themselves on the back. People said that it wouldn't last, and it has. Harry's no longer fitted in his homeland as he once was. If anything, he's pitied, she said.